How you doing? My name is Ezra Wine. I'm a fashion designer from New York City, and you are watching MogulMediaTV.com. Hey, what's up? My name is Ezra Wine. I'm a fashion designer coming out of Soho, Manhattan, New York City. I've been uh, designing clothing since 2004. Started in the silk screen world, started doing like fashion styling for um, hip hop artists like Fabulous, Kanye West, Just Blaze. Um, did a couple custom pieces for Buju Bantan and Jay Z for some of the performances they had. That was how I started. That was like circa 2004, 2005. Since then, I'm on a whole cut and sew collection. I try to work with a lot of vintage fabrics. Um, I'm working with like some vintage Ralph Lauren bear fabric that you see here, keeping it real simple with like a nice striped t-shirt. Um, then I'm doing these fitted five panel hats, which I'm really excited about. These are brand new. Um, again, working with the bear fabric, this really cool stamp fabric, pretty excited about this kind of stuff. Um, you know, I'm pretty much a designer who makes what I want to wear that year. So when I started in, you know, the mid-2000s, I was doing the graphic tees and the neons and everything, and that's what I wanted. Um, it wasn't so much about the, what the trends were looking like, it was like what I was into. Um, now I'm kind of really into this, like, Versace silk as well, so I was able to get my hands on some um, vintage Versace Medusa face fabric that, you know, I mean, this is the kind of stuff I grew up on. <clears throat> Born and raised in Manhattan, um, you know, I went to high school in like circa 94 to 99, and you know, this is what this is what the fly kids were wearing. So it's like, you know, I, I had access to get, you know, 30 yards of this kind of fabric. So now I'm making, you know, a 40-piece series of something like this, and I'm doing sweatshirts with the same. Um, you know, it's all made in New York, all cut and sewn in New York. Um, you know, I was just watching the State of the Union address a couple weeks ago. Obama said, you know, we need to bring manufacturing and production back to America, and that's what I've been doing and I'm glad to hear that because I'm working with tailors in the Lower East Side, um, you know, old school Schmata style business, Garment Center, tailors in Brooklyn, um, keeping my friends employed and at the same time getting by with the help of my friends, my design friends, by taking, you know, fabrics from Versace and fabrics from Ralph. Um, and you know, and then of course, you know, I still do the silkscreen classics just to keep it like hip hop and basic with something like this Jordan print. Um, with the uh, $5,000 fine per game. Uh, history there being, um, you know, back in 1984 when Jordan came into the league, uh, the NBA had a dress code policy that shoes had to be more than 50% white. And when Nike made this shoe, this red and black shoe, it was thought of to be very, like, groundbreaking, almost looked at as being kind of gang related, and they were like, we don't like this, we're gonna fine Jordan a few hundred dollars a game. By the end of the season, it, the fines went up to $5,000 fine per game. Um, Jordan kept wearing the shoe, got a lot of media coverage because of that. Nike did a whole commercial talking about how it's banned and you can't show it on TV. And Nike was paying all the fines because this was just a huge marketing stunt. And as I see it, that's kind of how, um, it's kind of where the, you know, sneaker world is today because of just, you know, stories like that. But, you know, so that's me. Um, Ezra Wine, I'm an artist, I'm somebody who wants to, you know, just, just make amazing clothing, you know what I mean? I'm not, um, I'm not here to, uh, you know, make clothes overseas and get involved in, um, you know, cheap child labor issues. I just want to, you know, make the coolest clothing. And, you know, I'm working with some small boutiques right now. Uh, in Brooklyn, I work with Vinnie Styles out in Brooklyn. Um, and um, luckily, with, with a store like Vinnie's and carrying my stuff, I've been able to, a lot of rappers actually shop with Vinnie's now. So like Fabulous and Prodigy from Mob Deep, constant shop, shoppers over there. So, you know, I'll, you know, I'll watch TV. I was on, you know, I was watching BET and I see Prodigy wearing one of these uh, horse stampede button ups that we made. So, you know, it feels good to kind of get the product out there and know that I'm not the stylist. I'm not providing the pieces, but um, people seem to like what I do. The consumers seem to like what I do. I've been selling online for the last few years and um, I'm out here at Pool um, just trying to, uh, you know, build up the brand. Um, you know, I can always be contacted via EzraWine.com. I have a showroom in uh, Soho on Broom Street, Broom and Mercer. Um, you know, I have meetings there and meet with buyers, meet with p potential consumers. Um, I actually, one of the things I started out doing when I first got in this business was doing custom work, doing custom uh, button down shirts. So, um, actually, like the bear button up that we see over here, it started out as a custom piece um, that I did. Uh, you know, for like one of my friends who just had a music video coming up and wanted something crazy to wear. And since then I've been, you know, making a few more of those kind of things. But so I still do custom pieces and, you know, I'm just always trying to like 
give the people what they want because a lot of these brands really don't and a lot of these brands just want to follow suit and I'm, I'm somebody who strongly believes let the consumer you know let the consumer decide what they want to wear and because um, that's the way I design um, this is what I want to wear right this year this is what I want to wear you know as far as striped silk sweatshirts so that's what I'm making next year maybe I'll be more on the suit tip and want to you know make something a little more couture and uh, maybe something a little more basic with the solids but right now I'm doing the wild prints and um, that's uh, that's the world of Ezra Wine.